Hello guys and welcome to my channel again. A lot of people asked me if this method with inserting your splashed mobile phone inside of a bag full of rice it's working or not. So in order to test this um, I actually took a motherboard from a computer. For those who recognize this, this is a motherboard that belongs to a hard drive. So it's basically the same circuitry you find in a computer motherboard. Um, the same distances between pins, the same voltages, this was meant to sit inside of a computer. So what I did, I actually connected the input power lines for this hard drive. So the 12 volt line and the 5 volt line and I set it on my bench and I poured water on top of it just to see how it behaves. In the following seconds I noticed that some oxidized areas started to form between the pins of the micro microcontroller and between the pins of the driver. So not only that these oxide areas are growing towards each other due to the electrolysis process um, creating some so-called dendrites besides the fact that it creates some short circuits there the trouble is that um, they actually uh, make the metals from the pins migrate from one area to another. So these, um, these corrosion processes are actually moving the material of some pins and you end up having no pins at all. In my opinion the answer to this question whether or not this method is working or not is that it's not working because um, this oxidized area will actually contaminate the board and even though you dry your mobile phone very well or your laptop um, this contamination will still exist there um, and these oxidized areas are actually attracting moisture in the future on your motherboard so even if your mobile phone or your laptop is working after you tried it very well you will notice that in a few weeks it will stop working uh, permanently and this is because these contaminated area are actually attracting moisture again now that we cleared that this method is not working so well I will sell you a couple of tips of what to do in the eventuality of a water splash or liquid splash on your electronic device. The first thing to do is to remove the battery inside your electronic device as fast as you can. This will prevent the electrolysis process and the migration of the materials inside your motherboard and um, then the second tip would be to take your electronic device to a mobile phone repair shop or to a computer repair shop. They have multiple methods there um, for removing the entire corrosion on the motherboard. And of course this is not only the apparent corrosion, it is also related to the contamination of the board. So. Like I said before, it's not enough to remove the um, short circuits or the corrosion on the motherboard. You also have to make sure that you remove the contamination on the motherboard and this won't attract moisture in the future. When I was working as a technician for um, one of these mobile phone repair shops, I was having an ultrasonic uh, alcohol rinser and when I was having a mobile phone that was uh, water splashed, I was removing everything from the motherboard, so all the sensitive components, and then I was dipping the motherboard of the mobile phone inside uh, pure alcohol. I would let it rinse there for a couple of minutes, 
and then when I was removing the motherboard from this ultrasonic rinser, I would um, apply a layer of flux and then I would heat up the entire board at around 400 degrees for a couple of minutes just to make sure that it's dried completely and more than this, this um, layer of flux would prevent um, the oxygen contact in the future so technically it would prevent corrosion so like I said this is something that you cannot do at home and it's better to entrust this to some um, specialized technicians and um, in my opinion this is why the bag of rice doesn't work if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave your comments below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.